Alabama was devastated by more than two dozen tornadoes Alabama is a state of the United States located in the southern part of the mainland. Alabama is directly bordered by Tennessee to the north, Georgia to the east, Florida, and the Gulf of Mexico to the south, and Mississippi to the west. Approximately 20 homes in Alabama suffered very heavy damage and even shattered. Dallas County Probate Judge Jimmy Nunn told a news conference, This is a disaster area. Power lines down and trees uprooted. This is really dangerous, Mayor James Perkins presided over a city council meeting which was held outside the town hall under the headlights of a vehicle. Due to a power outage, the meeting was held outside the town hall. We have to layer up and be prepared, he said as temperatures in the area began to drop, with the forecast low overnight being 39 degrees. He also asked residents to save water because treatment facilities were affected by the electricity situation. Nearly 140,000 customers in Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas had no power at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, according to PowerOutage.us. On Thursday evening, a tornado watch was in effect over southern Georgia with wind warnings still covering parts of Alabama and Georgia. Parts of North Carolina are under a severe thunderstorm warning. The governors of Alabama and Georgia have each issued states of emergency for parts of their states. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey said late Thursday there were six deaths in the state following an outbreak of severe weather that sent more than two dozen tornadoes across the south. I am saddened to learn that six Alabama people are missing to the hurricanes that hit our state. My prayers are with the loved ones and their community. We are all too familiar with the devastating weather, but our people are tough. We will get through it and be stronger for it, the governor said in a tweet. The governor didn't say in which state the fatalities occurred but there were five storm-related deaths in Autauga County, according to Coroner Buster Barber. Autauga County is just east of Dallas County, where a massive tornado hit the city of Selma on Thursday afternoon. The tornado was likely to be on land for at least 50 miles and cause damage in seven counties across the state, said National Weather Service meteorologist Gerald Satterwhite. Gerald Satterwhite said, it was a pretty significant tornado with debris flying around 10,000 to 15,000 feet. The tornado was likely F2 or F3, he added. It was one of at least 34 tornadoes in the U.S., according to the National Weather Service's Hurricane Prediction Center. The damage in Selma was widespread. The damage was going from one side of Dallas County to the other, he said during a video news conference. A large funnel cloud ripped through residents' homes, revealing houses without roofs and houses that were leveled to the ground and roads blocked by piles of debris brought by the large funnel cloud. In Morgan County in northern Alabama alone, the storm left 10 to 15 people injured early Thursday, none of which are believed to be life-threatening and damaged many buildings, said with debris and downed power lines in the Decatur, Morgan County community roughly 25 miles southwest of Huntsville, images from the city police and county sheriff's department showed. Damage reports in the southeast and the Ohio Valley piled up Thursday as the storm developed. In addition to dozens of reports of tornadoes, the National Weather Service has also recorded more than 140 reports of winds. Motorists are urged to only travel on the highway in emergency situations and stay aware of the weather, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said in a series of tweets about the damage in Winston County. Wind damage to trees and buildings was also reported at other locations across parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Kentucky before noon, the Weather Service said. In Georgia, a possible tornado damaged Griffin High School in Griffin, south of Atlanta. The tree fell and there was a leak in the gym, said Griffin Spalding School District spokesman Adam Pugh. The fallen tree on Interstate 185 prompted officials to close the highway in Trupp County, according to the sheriff's office there. In Kentucky, three F1 tornadoes were confirmed by the Louisville Weather Service. The tornado landed in Henry, Mercer, and Boyle's territory. In Mississippi's northeastern Monroe County, Several rural buildings were leveled or badly damaged after the storm passed early Thursday, video tweeted by the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency.